This video goes over the blood vessels of the body and the model is super big, so I can't get everything in one view. The first thing I wanna do is give you a three-dimensional view of the model. I also wanna talk about the colors. So remember that the blood vessels are colored according to what type of um, blood they carry. If they carry oxygenated blood, they're colored red. If they carry deoxygenated blood, they are colored blue. So in the pulmonary circuit, which pulmonary means lungs, in the pulmonary circuit, the arteries, remember arteries are defined as blood vessels that carry blood away from the heart. So the pulmonary trunk and its branches, the pulmonary arteries throughout the lungs, they're all called pulmonary arteries, but they're blue. And then right next to them, the pulmonary veins are red. They return oxygenated blood back to the heart. Uh, remember, they're oxygenated because the blood was just in the lungs picking up oxygen. So in the pulmonary circuit, arteries are blue, veins are red everywhere else in the body. In the systemic circuit, arteries are red and veins are blue, and I'm gonna show you why. So the main artery coming out of the heart is the aorta. The aorta, I'm trying to get a good, this is a tough one to video. The aorta is um, the main artery coming out of the heart and is carrying oxygenated blood and because the blood was just in the lungs and it branches and sends arteries off everywhere in the body. So the artery feed, I'm sorry, the aorta feeds every structure in the body except the lungs. <clears throat> and then in the tissues, no matter where you are in the body, blood turns from red to blue and returns back to the heart and veins. So in the systemic circuit, arteries are red and veins are blue, but in the pulmonary circuit, the reverse is true. Okay. So in the neck, there are two blood vessels that you need to learn. The artery is supplying the head. Remember, blood is flowing away from the aorta up. This is called the carotid artery. After blood is in the head, it returns back to the heart through the jugular vein. Most of the blood vessels that you're gonna be learning are, have the same name, only one is artery and one is vein, but obviously that is not true in the, with the blood vessels that supply the head, at least the ones that you are learning. Okay, so now <clears throat> the aorta comes up out of the heart and then it arches down behind the heart, which you can't see because it's behind the heart. And then it comes out into the abdomen. We call it the abdominal aorta down here. So the abdominal aorta sends branches off. One of the branches that it sends off is to the kidneys. These are the kidneys. So the red blood vessels going into the kidneys are the renal arteries. And then the blood vessels leaving the kidneys that are blue are renal veins. The veins in the systemic circuit empty into the inferior vena cava, blue, or the superior vena cava, blue, which both empty into the right atrium. In the lower back area, in the lumbar region, the aorta splits. Then we call the arteries iliac arteries. The iliac arteries lead to the femoral artery femoral artery, whoops, I actually pointed to, yeah. So the femoral artery, it's hard for me, I can't see my um, finger. <clears throat> I'm looking at the list now to make sure I have everything that you need to be learning. I think I touched the right blood vessel, but I can't see my hand. I'm going by feel because I'm keeping my head out of the shadow while I'm filming. Anyway, this here is the femoral artery when it's near the femur. And then um, it goes out to you know feed the whole leg. And now we kind of have to switch over to this other leg because the femoral vein is not obvious. Well, it's been cut <laughs> on this left leg. So let's go over to um, the right leg and then the femoral vein is here. And those are the only two in the leg that you have to know. 
And now I am looking at, oh, in the arms. So in the left arm over here, remember in the anatomical position, which this hand is in, the radius is near the thumb. That means this bone is the radius. And that means that the artery that runs along it is the radial artery. And then the vein right next to it is the radi radial vein right in here. Okay, so um, the blood vessels on the surface of the heart are coronary arteries, red, coronary veins, blue. And I'm just looking at the list to make sure I covered everything. Um, I don't know if I mentioned the iliac vein. I don't think I did. So right next to the iliac artery is the iliac vein. It is draining blood from the femoral vein. And then the two iliac veins merge to form the inferior vena cava. And I think I covered all of them.